part one of a series of tutorial for reading, writing that CSV files. So before we start, uh, demonstrate on ako ang saling ibig sabihin ng dot CSV files. So dot CSV stands for, or the CSV term stands for, <coughs> comma separated variables. So ibig sabihin, this is a file wherein we separate all entries sa ato ang cells using commas. So we can create CSV files using our spreadsheet programs or our normal na notepad. So let's try using notepad muna. So notepad, 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 notepad. So in creating .csv files using this ano, notepad, so pwede tayo mag-type of entries like name, comma, address, comma, signature, example lang. Then, file, save as uh, sample csv dot csv. So, pag naka dot csv na siya, expected na or all variables are separated by comma. So, pag na-save na yon, we can open that using our spreadsheet. Sample, yun. So, Amitin natin yung Excel. Okay, so as you can see, from our notepad, parang isang line lang siya. Pero pagdating sa, sa Excel, tatlong cells yung ginamit niya. So each variable or each entry is separated by a comma. Dito, notepad. And pagdating sa spreadsheet program natin, it is distributed for each cell. So, try natin update. Then, mag-entry din sa baba. Robert, taga Malasila, Y Pirma. File, save again. Then, open again using the spreadsheet program. Okay, Excel lang. Yun. So, again, so sa second row na siya, pero still separated sa each cell yung entries natin. Okay, so that's it for that .csv files. So, we can also format our Excel files. Usually kasi pag Excel file is saved as .xls But we also have an option to save as Save as, save as, let's say for example, save as .csv, ayun, comma delimited or in simple terms, comma separated variables. We also have tab delimited, pro, uh, tab delimited na mga 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 files. So, these are your entries naman niya is separated by tabs. Okay. That's it for part 1 of the tutorial in creating, opening, and editing .csv files. Thank you.